Hey guys, welcome back. Listen, I'm going to be doing another movie review. I haven't done one in a while. And uh, this one I haven't done a review yet. Um, I talked about the first two a long, long time ago. And uh, it's uh, Die Hard with, with Vengeance. And um, this is the third one in the series. Sorry about the glare there. Uh, this is the uh, four film uh, collection set. I got this for my birthday uh, a long time ago. My mom bought it for me. Thanks to mom. I love you. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I like the artwork of the box set. Uh, here it is. And uh, the spine and the back has all the movies in here. It has the first four, not five. But uh, I don't have five yet, but uh, I hope to get it soon. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's basically, uh, four films in one. They have the, uh, flappy things. Uh, they're not, you know, it's like that. You know, it's not, like, all topped onto each other. I hate that. But, um, yeah, uh, so the third one, uh, was, uh, when did this one come out? Uh, 95, and stars Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. And basically the movie's about, uh, John McClane and uh, New York uh, Harlem uh, store owner uh, basically get recognized by this uh, German terrorist and uh, they discover that he is trying to commit like you know a crime in uh, the city and they basically team up together to try to stop him and put him away for a long time and that's basically the plot in a nutshell and uh, I'd say that this sequel is really good I really like this one um, it's pretty crazy because there's like this one uh, scene with uh, Bruce Willis like he's wearing a sign that says I hate you know um, uh, like he says it, it, he wrote on the sign uh, I hate uh, N words and uh, it was just a really crazy scene um, to me like it's funny Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, this is a phone call. Uh, uh, it was actually just direct, uh, direct TV calling us. Um, we didn't answer it, so uh, yeah. So um, I thought the uh, scene where he had the sign, uh, the sign that he wrote and that he put around him saying that I hate indoors was, was like really funny, but like in like a stupid way. It's very racist, but like I thought it was like hilarious, like when I first saw it, and. Uh, yeah, this uh, sequel is uh, very good. It's um, uh, the runtime is two hours eleven minutes. It is a little long, but it's well worth it. Um, the acting in it is great. Uh, Willis and Jackson do great to de do great together. Um, I'd say that it's one of the best one in the series. I'd have to say it's up there with uh, two. And, well, uh, obviously the first one's obviously the best, but two and three are um, also part of uh, are also um, uh, great ones that are in the franchise. Uh, there's five um, total, like as of right now. Um, but there was uh, talks about Die Hard 6, but apparently Bruce Willis doesn't want to do it, and I can't say I blame him, because, like, the series has been going on for a very long time, so it's, um, it's good to just, like, end things, you know what I mean? But not saying that the Die Hard series is bad, it's always been a part of my childhood, and, uh, it'll always be a great part of my life, um... Yeah, just uh, Bruce Willis, he's the man in this series. He definitely makes it to what it is today, like, honestly. Um, so, yeah, uh, let me know down below what you guys think of Die Hard with Vengeance. Uh, uh, do you like it? Do you don't? Uh, uh, do you not like it? Uh, which one is your favorite in this franchise? Mine is definitely the original, uh, you know, just because it's, like, definitely, like, the best uh, one. Um, I'd say... Um, one of the all-time greatest action uh, movie franchises of all time. And, uh, yeah, so if you are looking into some good action um, franchises, I, def I definitely recommend uh, the Die Hard series. Cause it's a very, very good series, and you won't want to miss out on it. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.